Well, everybody, my uh, Sika Alaska journey is over. I did a video before this, but somehow it got erased uh, with me actually on the plane and a couple footage flying out of Alaska, but somehow I lost it. But the, the end the season early, I was one of the first 20 people to go home. I'm already back in uh, the, you know, regular United States, which Alaska is the United States, but back on the United States continent. I had a ball out there while I worked there. I got to learn a lot of things about salmon, the different salmon they are, coho, chum, pinks, king. I enjoyed it, even though it was a slow season, worked pretty hard. We didn't get a lot of hours during the week like I was expecting, 16 hours a day. I think while I was down there, I probably did maybe one week of 16 hours a day. That's when we got like 500,000 um, pounds of salmon to come in. Uh, dealt with rockfish, coho, like I was saying. Uh, halibuts, lifting those big things was really hard. They come between 100 to 200 pounds. Sometimes it takes three people to lift one. It's frozen so we can uh, send it through the water for the glaze process. But other than that, it was a good experience, good learning lesson, a great opportunity. Um, I wish I wouldn't have uh, somehow deleted the other video so you guys could have seen the footage of me leaving and everything. But this is just basically a video letting you guys know that the Alaskan journey is over. I'm back in the United States. The next time you guys will hear from me, I'll be telling you about my shrimp brine uh, journey because I'll be headed to Salt Lake City to work on the Greater Lake. Um, harvesting the shrimp eggs so I'll show you more footage of that so get ready for that to be coming up it's just gonna be in my experience at all these different places the fishy man out have a good one thank you for watching